Not how we like to start out our videos. <laughs> That's old. It actually looks like it really is signed. See that? All right. Look at this guy. Oh, whoa. Why does this look so old? Oh, okay. This one's even heavier. What do we got here? All right, what is up, Locker Nuts? You ready to do a little unboxing? I've got some boxes here from the train unit, and that has been a pretty amazing locker. Um, if you missed the, if you missed some of the earlier videos, really, it's probably the most amazing locker I've ever bought. But I did buy it with some partners, so it's not all mine. But I got my piece of it, and a few boxes from that piece are here. How about we get started going through it? Hey, before we do get started. Just to let you know, if you're new to the channel, this is what we do. We buy storage lockers at the auction, and we go through it here on YouTube so you can f basically go along on the adventure with us. And every box is an adventure. So much fun. All right, we haven't been able to go to auctions lately because of all the virus stuff and the shelter in place. All the auctions have been canceled, but I have a ton, a ton of stuff that I bought recently. And I've squirreled away in my locker, untouched, and we've been going through it together. So how about we get started? All right, this is what our adventure starts with. This is what it looks like, guys. The stuff that we pulled out. Here's a bag with boxes. Look at that. The guy bought stuff, got delivered to him. He never even opened the boxes. We've had quite a few. I can kind of guess what's in here, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. But we have opened a bunch of others. I just have a feeling these are all the same. They're, they feel light. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. JC Whitney, Everything Automotive, Hot Wheels car, special edition. Huh. We love finding Hot Wheels. We love them. All right. Oh, this one's been opened. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, probably they're all going to have this sort of thing. This is ladies' underwear. And more ladies' underwear. And some more ladies' underwear. Okay, here's some more. Some moat, some moat, some moat. And I think we're gonna have some more in here too. That's not bad. Boy, look at this. Hi Lee, thanks for the money order check. Enjoy. Sarah, Princess Poodle. Look at that. Black paper with the silver. And never even open. This is the presentation on this is really nice. Some sort of a slip or something. Let's see what the brand is. Look at that. They definitely look vintage. They're like bloomers. Huh. Not how we like to start out our videos. <laughs> Finding a bunch of underwear, but if you didn't see the earlier video I did where we went through a whole bunch of this stuff A whole bunch. I found some really good stuff like some Victoria's Secret uh, Brand new in the bag vintage and these this stuff can be big big money. Wow. Look at this More I don't know if it's called bloomers. I don't know what this Charmode I don't know. Huh Okay some of them big money. We have already sold some of the pieces. Jenna listed them on eBay, and we've sold some of the pieces. I'll throw up a few of the prices that we've been getting. It's big money, guys. It could be. She went through a lot of pieces and looked them all up. And there's not that many that have those big values, but there are the pieces that have the big values, and they are already starting to sell. All right. We need to hear from you so we can do whatever we can to assure your 100% satisfaction. The dude doesn't even know if he's satisfied because he never opened his package. There's another pair of those vintage bloomers. Yeah. yeah, and like I said, not the way I like to get my video started, but uh, let's get through this stuff real quick and then I think we got some more interesting stuff. Much more interesting stuff, I should say. Hmm. 
Big old box, and that's all we got. Just a note to thank you for purchasing these petty pants from my auction. I hope you will enjoy them. I will keep you informed of future listings. Petty pants. Huh, more of the same. That's so weird. It's like got on a got on a little spree of buying this type of garment. Petty pants. These look to be very old, but uh, the elastic seems to be perfect. Definitely appears to be vintage. Look at the bottoms on this. It's funny. All right. Now, let's take a look at this one. It looks a little bit... Oh, okay. I'll say this one looks a little more interesting. Yeah. It most certainly does. This is metal. Right here. Japan. It's a little metal horse. That's pretty cool. Cool. Look at this. Another little horse. This is a plastic one. Hong Kong. Hmm. This guy's a little scuffed up, but appears to be vintage. Nice. Cool. Huh. I was expecting rocks in here. So, because I did see this. This is a rock, obviously. I think it's lava rock, because it is very light. Super light. Here's another one. If I'm right, there's not much value there. It's a, piece, a big piece of uh, aluminum. It's got a little scrap value, not much. Here's a rock. Something a little different right here. It's just granite. Just a piece of granite. And some old newspapers. 1976. Wow. 44 years old. Look at this. That's a railroad spike, right? But I think it's, ooh. Huh. Wow. Doesn't appear to be used? Or did someone clean it up? I don't know. It's sharp. It's really sharp. It's like brand new, I guess, is it? I don't know. That's, that's a little different. This is an interesting little box right here. And this is an example of why this locker was so much fun. Okay, this little plane. It's kind of funny. I just noticed this is baby clothes. Not baby clothes. Ooh. What's this? It's really, wow. It's like... It feels like glass. Um, huh. Interesting. Okay, we got some good-looking rocks here. A little variety. Got some little vintage American flags right here. These are older, aren't they? What's this say? The Music Man, 1975 Summer Musical. That's pretty funny. United States Navy. The guy did serve in the Navy, too. All right. United States Army. <laughs> and another vintage flag. These are old. Air Force. And Marines, yeah. Yep, Semper Fi. Huh. Nice. It's funny because we've been getting some requests for rocks in our auction. So now we got a couple of pieces to, to add in the next upcoming auction. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we do auctions every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific. It's a live auction where you can buy some of the stuff that you see us pulling out of the lockers. And uh, lately we've been doing a pop up midweek as well. So. We've been trying to have two auctions per week. What's this? Well, that's interesting. It almost looks like a penny or something that maybe they'd put on a, a railroad track. When the train comes over, it flattens it. Could be what it is. Whatever it is, definitely wanted to keep it. Spaceman. Kind of reminds me of the little toys you get out of the gumball machines and the little round things. All right, there's another one of these pieces. It feels like glass, very sharp around the edges. There's another something that was wrapped up. Let's see. I think it's another one. Yeah. What does this say? Two of them. Squished by Freedom Train. It is 1975. These were uh, squished by a train. How funny. 
this guy kept so many things. So many things. Is there another railroad tie right here? Uh, not a tie. I mean a railroad spike. A couple more rocks. And a couple more rocks. Right here. Yeah, a few more rocks right here. You guys know if any of these are worth anything? Anything special here? I don't think so. A couple more. Hmm. Now here's one more collectible piece right here. I'm for brown. It's an old button. I think this is a political button. All right, next box. What do I got here? Look at this. A bunch of little glass canisters. Huh. There's some bullets in this one. What do we got here? Little tiny valve, like little tiny brass valve. Jenkins? How funny. Definite randomness going on here. Hearst. Old patch. An old patch. Alright, these are just casings. Oh no, there's a couple bullets right here. Here's an empty one. Just one with rubber bands. All old and dried up. Here's some paper clips. This one's got a little stamp and a bunch of I don't know, like acorns or things off a tree. See that? That's cool. Look at that. Hooks on a bar right here. Clamp it onto a bar and uh, hold something. Wow, that's cool. Here's another clamp of some sort. Must be for working on something. And these little vials and stuff. Look at that. And what kind of potions he was concocting. Yeah, look at this. Interesting. So what are these for? I'm not exactly sure. They've got a little flap here, so they clip onto something. Red bear. Oh, this is a red bear. These are um, Harry Holler. These are old Hot Wheels. I recognize these Hot Wheels. 32 Ford Vicky and the Heavy Chevy. So what are these little buttons for, though? Is that all they are? are buttons or do they go on something? Two more. Snake, Mustang, Boss, Hoss. I don't know what these are for, but those are going, going into our auction for sure. Ooh, look at that. Pantera 7X. That's cool. 1974, this newspaper. Look at that. That's old. Look at this. This is a little sticker sheet from 1969 Mattel. What is that for? Pretty cool. All right, you guys. How about another box? How about a new box? Now, what do we have here? I see a whole bunch of Hot Wheels. And some other stuff that looks pretty interesting. All right. Ooh, Kyle Perry. Uh, this is uh, Pro Racing. I think we found some of these early, early on, didn't we? Legends. Let's look at it. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look at this. Okay, this little display case. All right, it is brand spanking new. Okay, it has been opened because the tape's cut. Ah, what's this? All right, it's a Hot Wheel. It's just a really fancy Hot Wheel. Huh. Yes. Nice. Look at this thing. Looks like it's signed. It's got to be printed though, right? Uh, huh. I don't know if that's printed. It actually looks like it really is signed. See that? Ooh, okay. All right, you guys saw how it comes out the box here. We'll put it back in the box when it gets shipped, but for our auction... We're gonna show it just like this. That is really, really nice. The building of a village tradition. Display techniques for collectors. Oh, Department 56. These are nice. 
This is one of these little figurine sets for trains. So when you set up your little train display and maybe have a little train station, these guys sitting on the bench or something waiting. And uh, these are actually, you see right here, it was $25. Who knows when? Not recently. These are actually selling for pretty good money on eBay and they sell very easy and quick. Now this is something different. Barbie. And I don't think we found any Barbies yet. I don't, not that I remember. It's a little smush right here, just a little bit. Otherwise, it's in really good shape. 1995. So this Barbie's 25 years old. So that's cool. Maybe we'll put some Barbies in our auction. I've got some other Barbie stuff set aside. What do you guys think about that? I know you guys love Hot Wheels, right? You're like, show us more Hot Wheels. We want to see every single Hot Wheel. Just kidding. Just kidding. I've gotten the comments. No more. There's some more of those little figurines. This is good stuff. Oh, there's two right there. 1999 Ford GT40. Those are sweet. Break them up. Put them in different lots. Oh. Oh, those pro racing ones. We've had those before. Those are really good. Those are really good. Oh, there's another one. <clears throat> Jeez. Nice. Check it out. Brown Camaro Blue Streak Series. That's actually really cool. All right, we're not going to go through every single one, guys. Let's just, uh, why don't you just watch me make a couple lots here? We'll do it in fast motion. How's that? Down to the last few things here. We got some trains, it looks like. Let's see what we got. Okay. Concor, Australia. It's pretty nice. 533, that's the number on it. Very nice. All right. Look at this guy. Santa Fe, N scale, in the box. Oh, this one's nice. Made in Japan, it says. Hmm. Concord. Okay, this one says Concord also. Dummy PA-1 Santa Fe passenger. It says 2102 right there. I'll have to double check and see if that matches the photo online's match what this looks like. Hmm, that's really nice. K.O.P. and Company, 1976. Right there. Oh, got another one of these, just the shell. That's interesting. Santa Fe. Looks like the other one, but it's just a shell for the top. And then, what do we got here? It says Roundhouse right here. Kit S. Oh, wow. Okay, and the last thing that we got coming out... And this is really good, is a box of Shalimar perfume. Shalimar. I do like this stuff. Why? Because it brings in some really, really good money. And that's a big bottle. We're going to look that up. That's 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. It's going to be worth some dough right there. That was kind of a random find in here, this, this piece right here. Wasn't really expecting to find perfume in here, and I don't think we found perfume before. Maybe like a little Victoria's Secret tester, but uh, this is, I, I don't know how much this is. Well, I'll, I'll look it up and put it on the screen, but I think this is probably at least 30 or 40 bucks at least. It's good stuff. Hmm, that was a fantastic box. All right, guys, we got the next box right here. Let's take a look through this. I see some good stuff in here, but first, first let's do a custom shout out to Ashley Culpepper. Ashley was one of the first members to sign up for our Bonafide Nuts memberships. Thank you so much, Ashley. We really appreciate you. You guys probably seen Ashley. I know she's in a lot of auctions on our channel as well as other channels. 
And uh, we really appreciate you, Ashley. So if you're not familiar with what we're talking about, we started memberships and we have uh, two tiers to sign up for. And you can see the membership info down below. Click the join button and you'll get all the details on it and uh, all the perks that come with it. So thanks again, Ashley. All right. What do we got here, you guys? Okay. Christmas in the City, Department 56. All right, that might be worth a few bucks right here. I'm trying to look and see if this, this does not look like the original bag. It's like you put in a different bag and taped it closed, but I bet you it's going to be in great condition. Most of the stuff he kept in really good condition. Department 56, I think. Yes, 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 yes. Choir boys all in a row. Look at all this Department 56 stuff. Look at this Campbell water tank. This sure looks old. Oh, wow, look at this. Huh. It's a model that you put together of a water tank. That is, that's really, really interesting. Not much to it. Hmm. <laughs> that's cool. All right, check this out. We've got more of these little figurines from the train. I'll tell you what, guys, this is actually the next morning. I found the other pieces last night. Um, so I actually listed those. Check this out. I listed those three that I found for $45 each. Last night, I sold two to the same guy, two. So we sold $90 already. That's incredible, right? So I'm glad to get a couple more. And by a couple more, I mean two. Look at that. A couple more sets. Hopefully, we got some more. Oh, I see. I think I see some more. There's Department 56. I'm not as excited about that. I know there's value here. Oh, Historic American Cannons. I think we found some of these earlier on. Oh, whoa. Why does this look so old? 1982. On the card still. Oh, it's dusty. That's the oldest one we found on the card. That's great. Great, great. Oh, this is already such a good box. Hallmark Keepsake Ornament. All right, we sold some off just just uh, earlier this week in our auctions. And this is a train one. Ooh, look, horses. So we got more of these mini figurines, but these ones are horses. Why is the rubber band there? Oh, they opened it before. Nice. Oh, what's in here? Oh, here's another one of those figurines but loose and you know what i think there's one of these in my car i saw it in there and i didn't know what it was from now it makes sense now it makes sense oh yes yes Ooh, we got a lot of them in here it's a good little box nice look at that so much detail on these guys that's why they get the big bucks Oh, yeah. Look at this. End scale. It's a $39 new Amtrak Mini Tricks. They've cut the card here. That's too bad. This is, uh, it says Race Bait 308, no, number 2021 back there, if you can see that. Um, 1977. What the heck? That's really old. That's great. It's too, really too bad they cut that, though. Oh, it's some track. We're not going to open that, but it's LGB. Some track, 1210. A little bit more, too. 12, 100, an extra zero there, but more track. It's good. Oh, here we got some train cars. Oh, wow. Look at this. Huh. I wonder what these parts are for. Oh, you got a little guy there. I wonder what this stuff's for. Because it's already got the trucks on here. Maybe for a second set of trucks. Maybe it's, I don't know, guys. I have very limited experience with this stuff. But it looks like it's in good shape. Ooh. There's a little piece to come off. Look at that. Denver and Rio Grande 701 Lionel. Sweet. 
Now the piece, this one's a little heavier. This is a, it appears to be a pretty nice train. LGB5005, that's the number on the bottom. This is 4065, that's kind of weird, but. You guys see that? Some 9 volt batteries in there for something. And these switches, this thing does something. Maybe it just lights up, I don't know. Oh, man. There's a little dude right there, too. Okay, this one's even heavier. What do we got here? Oh. This thing is pretty. Look at that. Denver and Rio Grande. Oh, look, it's got a little dead fly. <laughs> it just fell off. <laughs> that was gross. Um... What's going on with this thing here? Hmm. Hmm. I don't really know how to test this stuff. What does it say? Lionel Trains 43045. Okay. Wow, this guy's pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right, just a few things at the bottom of the box here. What do we got? Oakland Athletics little pin. And this one, California Masons, Building for the Future, 2002. Wait a sec. This one's actually got multiple things in here. That's a Masons pin or pendant. Oh, it's a pendant. What's this I'd say? Look at this. It's actually numbered. It says, if found, return to Grand Lodge of California in San Francisco. Oh, that's pretty cool. Only Toledo King. There's a pin. Great. Oh, it's got a logo on it. All right, one of these little hologram stickers. What is this? IndyCar Infineon Raceway. 2003. All right, good. We got some nice pins and stuff for our auctions. Woohoo! Right. Lastly, what do we got here? Mother's Cookies, little, what? Oh, they are baseball cards. Oh, look at this. Hmm, from the A's. It's Tony La Russa, Dave Stewart, Carney Lansford, what the heck? Jose Canseco? Are these like all-stars or what, Storm Davis? 1988, that's the year on these. Pretty cool. Baseball trading card sponsored by Mother's Cookies. All right, well, let's wrap it right there. Uh, great, great little box. I've got, I think, just a few more boxes here. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to try to wrap this video up and get over to my storage locker so that tomorrow's video will show you more stuff coming out of the unit because we've got a lot, a lot, a lot. If you guys haven't seen some of the earlier videos where I've actually gone to my unit and showed how much I have, it's it's pretty staggering. Like, I'm probably set to go through stuff uh, till July at this speed. But um, I hope we're going to be through this a lot sooner than that. And if so, I'm going to go a little bit faster than that because um, I'm desperate to get back to the flea market. I'm looking forward to those days to go out there and have some fun and blow out a bunch of stuff and make a little bit of them green bags. And also, uh, to buy. We missed the auctions. Yesterday, I was sitting in the car with my daughter and I'm past public storage and I'm just like, public storage, I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> I miss them all. I just want to go back to the auctions and buy. It's so fun. Um, and I think that very soon we're going to get our fill because there's going to be a lot of, I think, a lot of lockers coming up for auction because they've not been able to auction them off for the past couple months. So fingers crossed. All right, you guys, we hope to see you at our live auction Monday night, 6 p.m. Pacific. It's live on our YouTube channel right here. And uh, also we do a midweek, probably Wednesday. That's what we're planning on Wednesday. So Monday and Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific. And uh, if you heard me talk about memberships earlier, memberships are going to become part of the auction. So you're going to have to become a member in order to bid. But don't worry if you just want to go and watch, it's free for everyone. So uh, we hope to see you guys there. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying looking through the stuff. I tell you, I'm enjoying going through these boxes. This is some good stuff. Maybe the underwear is not so great, but... Hot Wheels, Trains, Department 56. This is some cool stuff. And we got a lot more of it coming. A lot more, you guys. We've barely gone, I don't even think we've gone through 30% of this unit by now. Tons to go through. Well over half of the unit. Still to explore. We'll do that soon. Until then, 
Good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts.